CC Cycle 2, Week 14. My name is Kristen Gibbs, and these are some tutor ideas that we did for this week. Going ahead and starting off with our history, we had Tell Me About World War I leaders, Clemenceau of France, Lloyd George of England, Nicholas II of Russia, Wilhelm II of Germany, and Wilson of the United States were leaders during World War I, which started in 1914 and ended in 1918. The song actually starts right here with this last line, but um, I'm really trying to help my kids start from the beginning with Clemenceau. So, tell me about World War I leaders, and we have... Clemenceau of France, Lloyd George of England, Nicholas II of Russia, Wilhelm II of Germany, and Wilson of the United States were leaders during World War I, which started in 1914 and ended in 1918. And that's what we did for history. And we actually, um, I played carpet squares all around the room in a circle and we played like a cakewalk game. And then each kid had, you know, this was England and then um, they held up the flags when those leaders happened. So United States and then France, and then we had Germany and then Russia. And so each of the kids had one of those papers and when it was that time, we were walking around a circle and they held up the flag of um, each one of those leaders. And so that's what we did for history. But moving on to our math, we did, um, for math, we did linear equivalence. Linear equivalence was 2.54 centimeters equals one inch, 12 inches equals one foot, 5,280 feet equals one mile, and one kilometer equals five-eighths mile. We did this to supercalifragilisticexpialidocious from Mary Poppins, and I brought in a ruler, and I was able to demonstrate and show that 2.54 centimeters equals that one inch, and there's the one inch that I was able to show them. And then we, I took off everybody's one shoe, and then we said 12 inches, which was this um, ruler, equals one of our uh, our foot, one foot. And so there, they got to see that their foot was not quite this big, and even mine, I have a size uh, nine and a half foot, and so it was just quite short. But we were able to see that one foot, an adult size foot, um, especially a man's foot, equals that one foot of our ruler. And then 5,280 feet equals one mile. And we opened up our hands really wide and said one mile. And then we did one kilometer equals, and then we ran five eighths of a mile because it's doable. <laughs> so we did linear equivalence, linear equivalence, linear equivalence, linear equivalence. 2.54 centimeters equals one inch, 12 inches equals one. And then we held up our shoe, foot, and then we did 5,280 feet equals one mile, one kilometer equals five eighths mile. Linear equivalence, linear equivalence, 2.54 centimeters equals one inch, 12 inches equals one foot. 5,280 feet equals one mile, one kilometer equals five eighths mile. And that's what we did for math. Moving on to English, we did an adverb. An adverb modifies a verb, adjective, or another adverb and answers the question how, when, where, and why. And so what we did for this was we did the song to it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. And so I brought in an umbrella. We did try opening up the umbrella and passing it around. But the only problem with that is there's these little pointy things. So we ended up just keeping the umbrella closed, passed it around like a hot potato. And we just passed the umbrella around in a circle. And when it landed on that person, I asked them a question, which was how, when, where, and why? Meaning, how did you get to school? Or um, why do you like um, to play soccer? Or um, where do you go and play uh, on the playscape? Or um, when uh, was your favorite, um, uh, or you know, different, different questions. And then we passed that around like hot potato. And the song went like this, which was, 
An adverb modifies a verb, adjective or another adverb, and answers the question, how, when, where, and why. An adverb modifies a verb, an adjective or another adverb, and answers the questions, how, when, where, and why. And that's what we did for English. So moving on from that, we did our Latin. And our Latin is a repeat um, from weeks one to 13. And now this is our last one with this week 14. I had these little bags of little presents and each kid got one of these presents, passed them around to each kid and they got to hold the present and then pass it around in that same circle. And we did O-S-T, mustis ent, O-S-T, mustis ent. O S T mustis ent first conjugation present tense. Oh, a present for me. And that's what we did for Latin. Moving on to our next thing, which was science. What are the states of matter? Had a very catchy tune. I don't know where the tune is from, but um, saw it on from a YouTube subscriber and I ended up uh, learning her song, very catchy. What are the states of matter? The states of matter are, and we did solid, liquid, gas, and then plasma. What are the states of matter? The states of matter are solid, liquid, gas, plasma. One more time. What are the states of matter? The states of matter are solid, liquid, gas, plasma. What are the states of matter? The states of matter are solid, liquid, gas, plasma. And that was a lot of fun. We also talked about um, these three elements right here. I took it a little step further and talked about Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So God, our Father, is like the liquid. Uh, all of them are a trinity and they're all the same and um, but they're all in different forms so liquid is our God the Father Jesus came as a solid and um, and then the gas is the Holy Spirit and and then plasma is you and we see that there's power in lightning and and so that plasma is how we can have um, power and through um, through our holy, through the Holy Spirit, and um, but those show the Trinity as well. And so I just thought that was a beautiful picture of the states of matter. So moving on from that, so we just did hand motions for that. Our um, geography was Baltic Europe, Baltic Europe, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, and Belarus. And we had our geography maps. We ended up taking our markers and each kid started out with a different marker and then we passed them around circling each one of these. We first always learned the song, which we did, It's a Small World After All. After all. Baltic, Europe, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Belarus, it's a small world after all. Then pointing, Baltic, Europe, Estonia, in blue, Latvia, Lithuania, in yellow, Poland, Belarus, it's a small world after all. And so that was our geography. And the kids had a great time with that. And then we moved on to our timeline. That was everything, math, history, science, geography, Latin, and English. And our last thing that we did was our timeline. With timeline, we, um, we did, let me put these in order really quick. I should have already been in order, but that's okay. Um, all right, so we started off with Columbus sails to the Caribbean. And then it goes bum 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 Age of absolute monarchs. Circa 1500 to circa 1800. Bum 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 Protestant Reformation. Spanish conquistadors in the Americas. Calvin's Institute of the Christian Religion. Council of Trent. Baroque period of the arts, and that's Baroque period of the arts. 
Um, so that was our timeline. Let me show you the motions to that. We started off with Columbus sails to the Caribbean. And then we did our hands on our knees. Bum, 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 and then we march age of absolute monarchs go to the right first circa 1500 then to the left circa 1800 and then back on our knees bum 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 and then turn to the right and say and march protestant reformation then turn to the back and we're going to say Spanish conquistadors in the Americas, and then turn to the other way, and we're gonna say, Calvin's Institute of the Christian Religion, and then right here we're gonna turn back to the front and to make a C, Cal, uh, Council of, and then make a T, Trent, and then bow, Baroque period of the arts. So that will be, Bum, bum, bu, 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 bu. Oh, Columbus sails to the Caribbean. Bum, bum, bu, 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 bum, 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 Age of absolute monarchs. Circa 1500 to circa 1800. Protestant Reformation. Spanish conquistadors in the Americas. Calvin's Institute of the Christian Religion, Council of Trent, Baroque period of the arts. And so that's what we did for timeline. So much fun. In science, we did two experiments. They were absolutely amazing. Just um, putting one of our foot onto the carpet square and then the other one on a piece of metal tin foil. We talked about how um, we talked about how heat is transferred and this was 165. That's what it was. 165. We talked about how heat was transferred and, um, and about, uh, things that are, um, ins they insulate and other ones that are uh, tra transferring the heat. So like pots and pans, how they transfer the heat from the stove to the water. And then an insulate, an insulin, an insulation would be like um, things that keep you warm and, and, and um, have that heat. And the, uh, and how we found out that, um, which one was warmer and which one was colder. Then we moved on to Pepper Run. Pepper Run is, was such a great fun experiment um, and here we did this was 171 and um, let me turn to it really quick 171 was pepper run we put water into a bowl we sprinkled some pepper on top and then we took a toothpick with detergent and we uh, was soap soap detergent and then we put the toothpick inside of the water and we got to see the pepper <gasps> move from out of the uh, to the out, uh, outer edges of the bowl and we saw that there was water tension on the top and the molecules on the top of the water create like this surface tension and then when you sprinkle the pepper the pepper is light kind of like a feather and then when the soap is added it breaks that tension and it takes the pepper with it and so though that was really cool with the science experiment and then with art we did um oh and then in science I also use the indescribable book and I also use science um, books that they can journal and log in what they learned um, and reporting their data. In art, I normally keep their labels and names in uh, the art bag and then they also have their art binders as well that they can uh, color in if they want to practice before they start their masterpiece. We uh, talked about Beth uh, Morisot and how she uh, doubted her work. Um, she was a, a female artist and how she used a lot of her paints and it was like gloopy and it was texturized paint with plaster and, um, but how it was so beautiful, but yet she doubted her, her artwork, but everybody loved it and she's still known to this day. Um, and we just talked about how a lot of her scenes were uh, scenes that people can relate to. It was just like, you know, uh, people and uh, nature and, um, 
like vases and uh, boats. And so it was just a beautiful thing to watch. We also talked about how uh, when we make a craft, crafts are all looking the same, but when we make artwork, they all look different and God created you differently and he knows how many hairs are on your head and how he has a purpose for you and you are uniquely and designed and created in God's image. And so that was a lot of fun. We talked about even when we doubt ourselves and she would, uh, was known to crumpling up her paper and starting over again and how when we feel like when we need to that start over and we need to to redo have a redo god gives us chances and chances to do that again i hope you enjoyed this week and i look forward to seeing y'all next week bye